This is the icon for Supreme Today AI software. Just double-click the icon to open the software. When you open the software, this will be the home screen appearance. You can see the latest judgments from various courts in India on the home screen. If you want to see the judgments from a specific court, you can choose your desired court from the filter option. You can either select one court or more, according to your choice. The number of courts selected will be shown here after selecting it, then just click on Apply to see the latest judgments of the courts you have selected. Click on the Clear option to go back to the original screen. In the home screen, we have provided several search facilities, including keyword, AI paragraph, AI sentence, and more. In the Keywords option, you can find judgments, provisions of laws, news or articles that are containing the keywords you use to search. AI Paragraph is used to search for judgments in which concept of the words you use to search is reflected within a paragraph. If you have a lengthy matter to search, AI Paragraph is the right option. And likewise, if you have something to search like a sentence, AI Sentence would be a good choice as it's searching for judgments with sentences that resembles the concepts of your search. In the advanced search, we have provided all the conventional methods of search, like in our offline software. Here, you can search the judgments using keywords, act and section citations, party name, judge name, or advocate's name. When you want to search judgments using acts and sections in the advanced search, you can type the act's name here and select the right one from the pop-up list. After selecting the act, you can enter the section number in this box and select it from the pop-up list. Then, click on the plus icon, and it will be added to the search. If you want to add another section from the same act, you can just type the section number, then select it from the pop-up list, and click on the plus icon. That will also be added to the search. If you want to add a different act and section with this in the same search, you can type the act's name and select it from the pop-up, then type and select the required section. You can now see that all three sections we added to the search are appearing here, if you want to add more, that can also be done. And after adding the acts and sections, if you want to combine a word or a set of words into this search, you can type the words you want to search in the free text box and then click on Search. Then, you will get the results based on these search criteria you have given. All the judgments in this result will be related with the acts and sections and the keyword you used to search. As soon as you get the result window, if you wish, you can filter and sort the results according to your choice. And you can click on the Generate button to get an AI-powered overview of the search result. The software will be analyzing the first 25 judgments in the result to generate the overview. In the advanced search, you can search not only the judgments, but also any central or state statutes. Additionally, you can access any published annotations and short commentaries. To close the advanced search, click on the X button. This will take you back to the home screen. On the home screen, in the keyword option, you can search for any document containing the words you specify. The results will include any documents related to those keywords, either its judgments, sections, news, or articles. For example, if you type murder punishment, after typing the keywords you want to search for, simply click the search button. You will then see the search results related to those keywords, including news, laws, and articles. If you want to see the specific legal provisions related to the keywords, select the Laws option from the search results. This will display all the relevant sections of the law pertaining to the keywords you searched for. We have provided an AI tool even in a normal keyword search. The Generate option provided here helps you to get an overview of the search results easily. Once you get the results for your search, you can filter the results with your choices. You can also subsequently filter using additional keywords using the live filter if required. After all the sorting and filtering is done, you can click on the Generate icon to get an overview of the total search result. Software will generate an overview of the results using its AI algorithm. It is referring to first 25 judgments in the result list for generating it. Once the answer is generated, you can copy it if you want to paste it somewhere. If you want to make any modifications to the answer, you can click on Add to Draft, and it will be added to the draft. If you find any judgment is relevant for you, you can click on the link, and the judgment will be opened fully. Inside each judgment, we have provided an AI assistant, which will help you to identify and understand the judgment and its contents very easily in a short time. If you have any questions regarding the judgment, 
you can ask the question in the AI Assistant, and the Assistant will analyze the judgment and answer your question based on the judgment. This is very helpful in understanding and analyzing the judgment in an easy way. Next tool is Chat. This tool is very important and useful. In the Chat module, we have provided three options. One, ask a question. Two, write a draft. Three, upload to summarize a case. Under the Ask a Question option, you can ask any question of law or legal position you're seeking solution for. The software will analyze the issue using its algorithm and provide answers supported by relevant judgments. If you want the answer to be exclusively from a specific court or few courts you choose, you can select the courts before starting the search itself. Normally, you do not have to select any courts because by default, our technology automatically suggests the answers based on the judgments of courts from the state you have selected at the time of registering your profile. After selecting the courts, you can choose recently if you want the answer to be based on the most recent judgments. Then, type the question you want to find the answer for. For example, if your question is whether a permanent injunction can be converted as a suit for specific performance, just type the question and click the Enter key on your keyboard or click on the Send icon. Now, the software will analyze the question using AI technology and provide you point-by-point -point answers with relevant judgments to validate each point. After the answer generation is completed, the software will provide an analysis and conclusion based on the answers. It will also suggest three additional questions. You can choose any if you wish to do so. And if you select one, the software will provide the answer for that question. If you want to check for the possible arguments and counterarguments for the question we searched above, just click on the option given below. From there, you can select Argument to see the arguments on the given question. You can also click here to view the sources which the software referred to give you the answer. You can close the sources once you have verified them. If you want to ask a new question or draft something, click New Chat to open a fresh chat window. To draft something, select Write a Draft. If you have a Performa, you can select that option, copy-paste the Performa, and save it. Next time you draft, when you select your Performa option, it will show the Performas you have saved and select the appropriate Performa from that list and give the command what you wish to draft. The drafting will be made according to the Performa you've saved. And if you want to draft something without Performa, it's also possible. For that, just give the command in the box. For example, if you need a draft for a mutual divorce under Hindu Marriage Act 13b, just type your command and click Enter. Then, the software will draft it for you. If you want to copy the answer, you can go to the top and copy the answer. If you wish to modify the draft, you can click on Add to Editor. The drafted content will then be added to the editor, where you can make any necessary modifications. In the editor, you can not only modify the drafting created by the software, but you can also copy and paste any writing you have created. Using the AI Commands feature, you can improve the writing by making it longer, shorter, or making other changes. With the help of the AI Assistant in the editor, you can review any document. For example, if you have copied and pasted a contract into the editor, you can ask the AI Assistant to review the contract and identify any ambiguity in the language or clauses. You can also ask the assistant to analyze the agreement and highlight any provisions that are not user-friendly. In the editor, you can also do your drafting by dictating it. The software will type as you dictate. Back to the chat option. The third option provided in the chat tool is to analyze any document outside the software using the technology. You can either copy-paste it here or you can attach any document here and ask the software either to summarize it to analyze it or whatever you wish to do with the attached document. For example, here, now I am uploading a document and I am asking the software that what is the summary of it. Then the software will analyze the document and will provide a clear summary of the attached document. This is only the basic introduction about the software. If you need further assistance or a detailed training, feel free to get in touch with us